A conventional wood stove is a metal box with a chimney. The fire goes in the box and the heat is extracted immediately. The temperature of the fire is usually about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The smoke goes up the chimney due to a thermosiphon. Over time, people learned that creosote would build up in the chimney and cause chimney fires, which could burn down the whole house. The solution was to insulate the chimney, holding a lot of heat in the chimney. When you have a hot fire in the stove, it would often get hot enough in the chimney to burn out the creosote, thus keeping the house safe. The downside is that a lot of heat ends up going out the chimney. So, if you want to keep the heat in your house, you have to burn the creosote earlier. Instead of insulating the chimney, let's insulate the firebox. This pushes the fire temperatures to over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, which will not only combust all the creosote, but all the smoke too. Now our exhaust is typically just steam and CO2. Since there's no danger of a creosote fire, we can extract a lot more heat before the exhaust goes outside. Over the years, we optimized the design. We found we didn't need nearly as much wood, so the burning area became much smaller. We added a stubby chimney inside the system to create a thermosiphon so we could push the heat wherever we wanted. We used a large mass to extract a lot of the heat. A large enough mass would slowly release heat for several days. We came up with a lot of different ideas for pretty. And today, most installations will heat a home with one-tenth the wood, produce one-hundredth of the smoke, and people wake up in the morning to a warm house. Safer, cheaper, easier, and more luxuriant.